I am Daniel Bourne, Staff Sergeant, retired U.S. Army. I thought, you know, what better to do than to join the Army and serve my country. I knew when I met him, he took his cowboy hat off and he had a crew cut. And I went, oh, you were either going to be a college student or you're going to be a soldier. And he took his hat off and I said, there he is, there's my soldier. We've been married 14 years and we have four boys. Toby is 13, Jacob is eight, and then Gavin and Henry are three and a half. Dan redeployed to Iraq when Jacob was about seven months old. Our mission for that deployment was to do route clearance missions. We were just north of Baghdad and we noticed a box in the middle of the road and we thought it was an IED so we had stopped and it was obviously a decoy. They wanted us to stop so they could get a better shot. Then next thing I know I just saw a, like a huge fireball right out the side of my window and I remember trying to get up and I couldn't move my legs. And I looked out the window and she got out of the passenger side. It was one of our friends that lived down the street and uh, with her was two soldiers. I got that feeling in the pit of your stomach that life is about to change. And they walked up to the door and I said, I don't want you here. Please, please leave. And they just shook their head, we can't. And she actually told me. She said he's lost his legs. When I woke up, I saw my wife, but it was actually almost a week later, it was six days later, and I was in the States in San Antonio. He was horrible looking. He was super swollen. His color was wrong, very pale, very, very pale. Covered in bruises and cuts and much shorter than he should have been. Lots of tubes, wires. But he was alive. Every day I'm just thankful to still be here and have what I do have. It's all about what you decide you're gonna do. He's decided he's not gonna let it stop him. We decided to move back here to Fort Wentwood because we enjoyed the area, like the outdoors. I love camping, hunting, fishing, and just being outdoors. If anyone has ever walked in the woods of Missouri, it's not flat, it's not smooth, it's not wheelchair friendly at all. Even for a man who's so determined to get out there. I saw the track chair, heard about the track chair, did some research on it and watched some videos and I was like, man, this is something that I really want and need. We decided to go ahead and ask the VA because you never know, I guess, if you don't ask. And got the word that it was gonna be paid for. And he said, wow, this is great, you know? And so the VA told the vendor, go ahead and start making the chair. Three months later, I got a call from the tra action track chair dealer and he said, Mr. Barnes, I have bad news for you. And I was like, you know, what the heck? He said, the VA will not pay for your chair. According to the VA, wheelchairs that are above and beyond a two wheels in the front, two wheels in the back, sit on them, push them with your hands, anything above that is a luxury. I remember the dealer asking me, well, do you have $15,000? And I was like, uh, no. So the dealer says, have you heard of the Independence Fund? Bill O'Reilly does this thing and he helps sweat veterans get chairs. The next morning I got a, guy, got a call back from the guy from the Independence Fund. And he said, you're totally qualified, let's see what we can do. And called back the next day and said, I think I have someone who wants to pay for your chair. And he said, really? He said, yeah, you ever heard of College of the Ozarks? At School of the Ozarks, a uh, goal that we share with the college is patriotism. And so we aim to have that respect for those who have fought for freedom. Pitching for Patriots is a club that our school has started to aid veterans in different ways. When we heard about Sergeant Barnes and his need as a veteran, we decided that would be a great opportunity for us to be able to maybe give back to him. Sergeant Barnes lost his legs fighting for our country and he loved the outdoors and so we wanted to give him a way to still be able to enjoy the outdoors that he loved so much. The first day we got the chair, we went out in the woods and went down the trails and it was pretty interesting and amazing, especially see my two littler ones. They thought it was like, wow, we're going through the woods on a hike. It's just amazing how much it can change someone's life.
when Sergeant Barnes came and got to show us his, his track chair, it was really amazing. The track chair is just an awesome machine for him. These teenagers, high school kids, did something for me to help me out in my life and give me back something that I haven't had in seven years. And to see them and to meet them for the first time, it's remarkable at what they've done and what they did for me and for veterans in general. It's really opened my eyes to what it's like to be a veteran and how it's affected them. As a family, I think it's brought us more together. So it's not only just helped me, it's helped everyone in my family and making me not just a better person, but a better husband and father. You can't just say thank you. Like, it's, it's not enough. To say what he's been given back, thank you just seems like small words. People that they didn't have to. That's what means the most. They didn't have to. They wanted to. That matters. School of the Ozarks hopes that Pitching for Patriots will begin to spread patriotism throughout the community and throughout the nation and that we can be the start of a generation that will remember our veterans, remember the sacrifices that they made. They laid everything down and so giving back um, and serving them because they served us. That's just the kind of people we want to be. That's what America is all about. One of us asked Sergeant Barnes whether or not he would do the same thing over again if he had the chance, knowing the outcome. He said absolutely yes. That just strikes me straight up as a servant's heart. I don't consider myself a hero. I mean, I was doing my job and I just happened to be at the wrong place and got injured. I would not change a thing. I mean, it's brought me so much in my life. Yeah, I lost my legs, but I have a beautiful wife. I have a family. I mean, without being in the military, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have met my wife. So I wouldn't have been able to go to the places that I've been to. If I could still be in the military, I think I would. I think I'd still be a soldier today.